Hi everybody, I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct and welcome to our YouTube channel. Thanks for stopping by. In today's video, I'm going to give you an in-depth review of the entire power wheelchair line by Golden Technologies. Golden Technologies is one of the most trusted name brands in powered mobility and we're here at their headquarters. We're going to do a quick review, tell you the pros and the cons of each one of these models, what makes them special, go over the specs, but before we get started, I just want to mention two quick things. Number one, if you want a copy of our brand new product catalog, it's free. All you have to do is go to our website, www.mobilitydirect.com. Click on the green button at the top of every page that says free catalog. Fill out the simple short form and you'll get one in the mail within one to two weeks tops. I also want to say that if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, you're automatically going to be entered into our monthly giveaway raffle. That's right. Once a month, we choose one random subscriber and we give them a free powered mobility product. So you're already here. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you could be the next lucky winner. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started with this video. I'm going to go ahead and start all the way here to your right with the Light Rider Envy LT. This is a brand new model. The Envy has been around for a long time. Which is, this is the standard size one, and Golden Technologies recently released the lightweight version of it. It has a 250 pound weight capacity, and I'm going to go over a few of the specs here. It has a maximum speed of 3.5 miles per hour. It can travel up to seven and a quarter miles on a full charge, and it has a ground clearance of two and a half inches. The turning radius is only 28 and a half inches, which makes it extremely, uh, it has an extremely sharp turning radius for indoors. So if you live in a, in a home that has a lot of furniture and tight corners, corridors that are narrow, this might be a really good option for you as it only requires 28 and a half inches to do a U-turn. Now it has two 12 volt 18 amp hour batteries and a very convenient battery pack with a handle. And we're going to show you how it comes apart. So I'm just going to bring it out here in the middle for a second and give you a different view of it. So the battery packs in the back there, we're going to kind of just walk around and show you some of the different areas while I read off some of the specs here. So the overall length is 33.25 inches. The overall width is 22.5 inches. So you'll have no problem getting through any doorway. The unit breaks down into four lightweight pieces. The heaviest piece is going to weigh 34 and a half pounds and we'll take it apart and go over the weight of the rest of the pieces in just a moment. It has eight inch drive wheels and six inch casters. It also has two inch anti-tip wheels in the back and the seat is going to be 17 inches wide, 16 inches deep. The backrest is also 16 inches tall. Just like all of the Golden Power wheelchairs, it comes with a five year limited warranty on the frame, 13 months on the electronics and the drive train and a 12 month limited warranty on the batteries. So enough talking about it. Let me show you how it works. Now it has a standard joystick controller here, which is just like most of the power wheelchairs. If you're familiar with other power chairs, it has a power button, a horn, and then the speed adjustment settings. You've got five different speed modes. Now underneath the joystick in the front, you'll see the charging port, which is an XLR style charging port, which is basically the universal barrel connector with three pins. You plug it in right there and that's how you charge the battery. You can easily take the joystick out and put it on the other side. You just have to fish the cable through and reach it over to the left side if you're a left-handed user. Here it's set up with the right-handed user side, but again, it's very easy to switch from the right to the left. As you can see, it has flip up armrests. You can rotate the seat. 180 degrees. There's a little lever here on the right that you just push down and you can lock it in to several different positions. You'll hear it click into place. Now, while I've got the seat facing you with the rear, I want to show you it has the universal accessory port, which is a one inch square. So you can put oxygen tank holders, walker holders, a rear cage style basket, etc. Speaking of baskets, it does come with its own basket also underneath and we'll show you how to take it out. The charger's right here. I'm just going to show you the charger. It's a universal charger. And you plug one end into the wall. When you plug it in, the power button lights up. The charge button is going to give you a status. It's red when it's charging and it'll turn green when it's fully charged. So here's that barrel connector that I told you about. Like I said, very easy to use. There's really no wrong way to plug it in. 
So I'm going to put that to the side here. One other thing, it does have width adjustments for the armrest, so you can go ahead. There's going to be some thumb screws that you can use here, and you'll just loosen them, and you can bring the armrest out or bring them back in closer together. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and start with the disassembly process so we can show you how that works. Make sure you turn your unit off. And with these models, you do have to have the seat um, rotated. If it's like this, the battery won't come out because it'll hit that accessory port for the rear. So I'm going to rotate the seat where it's facing left. And then you could slide the battery out. This is the battery pack. It's not too heavy at all. The battery pack weighs 25 pounds and there is a breaker reset button there. So if it notices that the unit's being stressed out or overheated, you might see that the unit turns off and that button will be pushed out, in which case you'll have to push it in to re reset the breaker. There's also a charging port right here. So if you wanna charge the battery pack indoors while you leave the power chair indoors, it's there for convenience as well. So that's how you take the battery out. The next thing you wanna do is locate the cable for the joystick. First step is gonna to be to disconnect that. Once that's disconnected, you won't have to worry about the cable being ripped out of the harness there when you take the seat out. To take the seat out, I like to just fold the backrest forward, pick up from the front, one hand on the accessory port, one hand in the front, pick straight up. Don't tilt in any direction on the way up or else it'll seem like the chair is stuck and it won't come out easily. So now we have the base that we can take apart into two pieces. And to do so, it's pretty easy. There's a lever back here. And you could see that if you lift it up, there's a little hook there that comes in and gets out from underneath that bar. And that's what you want to do. And there you have it. So now the unit's completely disassembled. And the front half is gonna be the heaviest piece. It weighs 34.5 pounds. The rear is gonna weigh 30.5 pounds. And again, the battery is 25 pounds. The seat weighs 23 pounds with the armrest. All right, so now that you know how to take it apart, let's put it back together. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that this back end is right in line with the front end. And what you basically want to do is bring it back to where that hook is lined up in the right place. Now you want to, we're going to come in a little bit closer here. You're going to see these yellow studs. They're painted yellow, part of the frame here. These yellow studs need to fall into these hooks right here. So there's a yellow stud on each side and a hook on the rear on each side. So let's line up those yellow studs with the hooks, drop it in, and then work this lever here so that hook gets out of the way and then it's gonna fall into place, lock that lever back in and you're good to go. While we're here, I wanna show you these brake levers with the yellow handles. If you wanna push the unit manually, you can't because the brakes are always engaged. But if you change the position of those levers and bring them down, now you can manually push the uh, unit back and forth, which is basically like putting it in neutral mode. Keep in mind, you're not gonna be able to operate the joystick without the brake levers engaged. So let's go ahead and work on putting it back together. I'm going to grab the battery pack. You just got to line up those pieces there and there's a little groove for them to slide right into. Drops right into place. Last but not least, line up the male connection for the seat post, level out the chair, drops right into place. Super convenient, very easy to travel with and very, very dependable, super comfortable. It will go on grass, but it's not meant for off-roading. But it's nice to know if you need to go on grass just to get over a little grass patch, it can do it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Light Rider Envy LT. All right, so next, we're going to move on to the Envy, Light Rider Envy, which is the standard version. Now, if you want something that has more color options, as you can see, you've got a lot of color options on the Envy. With the LT version, you only get one for now. And the main difference, they're almost identical, I'll be honest with you. The main difference is... The LT version can only support 250 pounds. It's a little bit smaller. It's going to weigh a little bit less on certain areas. Let's compare the weight capacity here. We have on the regular version, you have a 300 pound weight capacity. The speed is the same. 
Now the travel range on the standard version is 15 and a half miles compared to 7.25 miles. So you get a lot more distance on a full charge. The ground clearance is identical. The dimensions are a little bit bigger. On the length, it's 36 inches. On the width, it's 22 and a half. Now the, the width is the same on both versions, but the length is a little bit, it's a little bit longer about, by about three inches. Other than that, most of the specifications are identical. The tires are a little bit bigger on this version. You have nine inch drive tires instead of eight and the casters are still six inches. So overall, the main difference here is going to be you have a lot more color options and you have that 300 pound weight capacity on the regular version, but it comes apart the same exact way. There's really not many other differences. You do have a little bit more room on the foot space for the foot plate, which is a flip up foot plate on both models. Other than that, there's not much difference to it. All right, so some of the other differences are gonna be with the weight of the heaviest piece. On the light version, the heaviest piece weighs 34 and a half pounds, but on the standard, it, the heaviest piece is 37 pounds. So basically the pieces are gonna be a little bit heavier by just a few pounds. So if you need a little bit more room for the foot plate, a little bit more weight capacity, and you don't mind the extra weight in exchange for the extended travel range, the Light Rider Standard Envy might be the right choice for you. Both of them are really great models and super travel friendly. So let's move on. We're not gonna to spend too much time on that Light Rider Envy because again, they're almost identical, but we do have review videos for each one. So if you really wanna get into the nitty gritty for the standard Envy power wheelchair, check out our links in the description below or go to the Golden Technologies playlist on our YouTube channel. Now, the next power wheelchair that we're gonna review is the Buzz About. And we have an in-depth review video for this one as well. It's a brand new model, super nice. We're gonna go over a couple of the specifications here while the cameraman goes around and shows you some up close pictures and video footage of the um, different pieces here. So it's got a 300 pound weight capacity. It can travel up to four miles per hour. On a full charge, you should get around 11 miles. It has a two and a half inch ground clearance. The turning radius is 28.5 inches, which is great because this is a mid-size power wheelchair with a captain's seat. Nice big seat with a headrest that is adjustable in height. It's a great chair. It has two 22 amp hour batteries and it does have a convenient battery box with a handle just like the Light Rider Envy's but it's a little different in how it's sitting on the actual base. It doesn't slide in like the uh, Envy's. You actually just pick straight up and we'll show you how to do that. It has a 36 inch overall length and 23 inch overall width. Now, the weight of the unit fully assembled is 124 pounds, but the heaviest piece is only 34 pounds, which is actually the seat. The other heaviest piece, which is not considering the seat being one of the heaviest, would be 33 pounds, and that's the rear half when you disconnect the front and the rear part of the base. The tires are nine inches on the rear, and it has six inch casters. It is a rear wheel drive power wheelchair. Short of that, it has a seat that is 17 inches wide and 16 inches deep, and the seat back height is 18 inches, not including the headrest. So let's go ahead and show you how this works really quick. Again, we have a full video on this, which you can check out. Standard joystick controller with the charging port in the same location. And you'll have the power button in the middle here, which lights up green with a dial around it, which we're gonna zoom in on and show you here. But if you wanna control the speed, there's no buttons like the Envy. You just rotate this knob clockwise and it's gonna get the limiter up to the top speed. The battery meter is very similar. The lights start to turn off one at a time. Make sure you charge it when it's about halfway down. Don't let it get to the red and that's how you get the longest life out of your batteries. You've got a horn button, a standard controller, and you can easily take out the joystick and move it from the left side to the right if you want to. Both of the armrests have that little bracket for the joystick controller. You can also depth adjust them, just like on the Envy's. The armrests do flip up. You can do a width adjustment on these as well, if you want to slide the armrests out or bring them closer together with these little hand screws here. And you do have that universal hitch receiver on the back. So if you want to get an accessory like a rear basket, oxygen tank holder, it plugs in right there. 
put a little bolt that comes with it to tighten it in, you're good to go. Now I do want to mention one of the unique features about this power wheelchair is it has motion sensor lights. So back there is a rear light and when it's moving, you do have to activate the switch in the front, which we'll show you in a second. But basically the lights stay on for a few moments when it's not in use. And as soon as you start moving, that's when the lights turn on. As soon as you stop moving, give it a few seconds and the light turns off to save battery. You've got some nice anti-tip wheels in the back. Right here are your brake release levers, just like all power wheelchairs, there's two brakes. And now we're gonna show you the front here. This is one of the only power wheelchairs that has a light on the foot plate. So it's gonna illuminate the path in front of you very well since that light is down low. And here's that switch to turn the light system on and off. It's located right above the circuit breaker reset switch. You can flip up the foot plate. And like I said, it's motion activated just like the rear light. So right now it's off because the unit's not moving. As Soon as I hit the joystick, it turns on and stays on temporarily. So while you're moving, it's gonna illuminate the path in front of you real nice. Now you can also rotate this seat 180 degrees and it's gonna lock into position in several different positions. So when you're ready to get in and out of the chair, you can rotate the chair to the left or the right so the foot plate's not in front of you, or you can flip it up to get it out of the way. Lots of options. So let's go ahead and start taking it apart to show you how that works. This is a travel friendly power wheelchair meant to easily stow in the back of a SUV or in the trunk of a car. So let's get that going. The first thing we wanna do, locate the power cable for the joystick. Let me move it over so I get you a better shot of how I'm doing that. So the joystick cable actually doesn't have a harness like the Envy. What you're gonna wanna do is just disconnect it here at the base of the joystick. So you just depress that little clip, pull it out. At this point, you can safely remove the joystick cable to where it's free and it's not gonna get ripped out when you go to remove the seat. Again, make sure you fold the back down, pick up from the back and the front underneath the chair and go straight up. Don't tilt in any direction. I'm gonna turn the light off here, pick up the battery box by the handle, pick straight up. Last but not least, I wanna go ahead and put one hand on the seat post, one hand on this light lever, pick up and move forward. As you can see, it has the same type of system. You have this bar here with the red sticker and a hook here on the back, which also has a red sticker. So you line up those bars and the hooks when you're putting it back together and it should click into place real easily. Now, as far as the weight of all these pieces, the front half, is gonna weigh 29 pounds, the rear half, 33 pounds, the seat, 34 pounds, the battery box, 28 pounds. Not heavy, pretty manageable. Now let's go ahead and put it back together. So I'm gonna get that bar with the red tape and line it up with the hooks and just let it fall into place until it clicks. It's that easy. Next, I'm gonna grab the battery, the battery box let it fall right into the cradle. There's nothing to it. Last step is to grab the seat, line up the mail connection with the seat post, let it drop in. By the way, before I do that, I just wanna point something out. Right here on the seat post, you can do this on the Envy models as well. The nut and bolt here, you can remove it, and there's several holes in the seat post to adjust the height of the seat. So if you bring this up, Take the nut and the bolt out, bring it up, use another hole that's down low on this piece. The seat post is gonna sit up higher and that's how you increase the height of the seat. Most of these chairs have about a two inch range to work with on the seat height. So let's go ahead and put that seat post back in, or the seat back into the seat post rather. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and fish this through the little straps here to make sure that it's not gonna Get caught in the tire while you're rolling around. That's what that's there for. Go ahead and plug the cable back into the joystick. And now we have power. Good to go. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Buzzabout Power Wheelchair by Golden Technologies. Honestly, I think this is one of the coolest 
and best options out there. As long as you're within the limitations of the weight capacity, I highly recommend that power wheelchair. All right, so working our way up the ladder here, we have the Compass Sport power wheelchair known as model number GP605. The Compass Sport has been around for a long time. It's a solid power wheelchair. It has a weight capacity of 300 pounds. It's a center wheel drive power wheelchair, super comfortable, has suspension, so you're gonna get a really smooth ride, and it has a really big seat on it. That's gonna be one of the main differentiators here. It's a full-size power wheelchair. The seat is 18 inches wide by 18 inches deep, and the backrest is going to be 23 inches with no headrest or 30.5 inches with the headrest, which can be adjusted up to 34.5 inches on the seat height. So it's a captain seat, super comfortable. You have some really nice features on it that we're going to go over. Uh, basically, it's going to have the flip-up foot plate that's a lot bigger than the other smaller models that we were reviewing, it is since it has a center wheel drive system, it's very, very stable. Uh, speaking about the seat here, we've got the flip up armrests that you can basically adjust width on. So if you want to bring the width out a little bit, there's some screws on the back of the armrest that you can just loosen up and then you can bring the armrests out further. It has the one inch universal hitch receiver in the back and then a nice logo there, not much to it as far as the rear end, but I do want to show you that suspension kind of working. As I get into the chair, um, you're going to notice on the front end, if you pick it up a little bit, it's kind of got this suspension system to where, you know, it can really handle terrain better. Uh, it's really, the other models that we've looked at don't really have that feature. Uh, the tires, by the way, on these units is a 10 inch mid-wheel tire and the casters are six inches. So it's got a little bit more to work with there. The ground clearance on this unit is 3.25 inches. The turning radius is 24 inches. You can get anywhere from 24 to about 34 miles on a full charge. The top speed is four miles per hour. And again, it has a 300 pound weight capacity. You also have a little recline feature that the other chairs didn't have. So you can do a slight recline on the seat. And as far as the joystick, it's actually the same joystick really as the buzz about, very similar at least. The position of the power button's just in the back here, but it has the same setup with the dial to control the speed uh, limit. And then the horn button right above that, the battery meter here again, start charging when it's about halfway down. And of course, just like the other ones, you've got the option to take out the joystick controller and move it from the right to the left side pretty easily. Now the charging port on this unit is located in a different position. It's on the right side of the joystick controller, not the front underneath. So that's one little difference there. It's got the little clip for the joystick cable. You can rotate the seat with the rotation lever. You can go 180 degrees, so if you want to get in and out of the chair easier, you can flip up the armrest, rotate the seat to the side, and get in and out of the chair that way. All right, so one thing I want to backtrack to, on this model, you have the option to upgrade the batteries, and that's how you're going to get up to 34 miles. So traditionally, it's going to come with the standard U1 batteries. Those are 12-volt, 35-amp-hour batteries. There's two of them in there. Uh, if you want to upgrade, you can upgrade to 50-amp-hour batteries, and that's how you're going to go from 24 miles to 34 miles on the travel range with a full battery. I do want to also mention with the suspension system that it has, you can kind of see the way it kind of is stationary in the rear end when I tilt it back. And if I tilt it forward, you kind of have the same thing. So when you're going down a ramp with other models, it may feel like unsafe, like it's going to tip forward. But the suspension setup that this has is for that reason pretty much. So it's a lot more stable when going up and down ramps because it's able to absorb that tilt very well. It's very safe and very, very dependable, just like all Golden Technology models. So with that being said, this isn't really a take apart power wheelchair. It's not gonna disassemble as easily. You can remove the seat the same way we did with the other models, but this is probably gonna require a lift system. You can't really take this apart and put it in the trunk of a car. It's got a really big seat, really big base, and it's, it's pretty heavy. But if you need something that's really comfortable with a big seat that can handle 300 pounds and that's gonna last you a really long time, I'd highly recommend considering the Compass Sport. We're gonna move on to the next one, which is very similar to this. It's called the Compass HD. 
Really, the main difference is going to be that the Compass HD has a bigger seat and the bigger or a better weight capacity, I should say. So with the Compass HD, it's going to have a 450 pound weight capacity and a much bigger motor. So if you want something that can handle going on grass better, not necessarily the weight capacity factor, this would be it. You can go on grass with this bad boy, no problem. It's going to perform very well. A lot of the same features that you saw on the Compass Sport with regards to the joystick location being on the left or the right side, you can easily switch it. You can adjust the width of the armrest easily, but you can also adjust the height of the armrests. So that's one additional feature that the Compass Sport did not have. Now on the seat, it's going to have a bigger seat. It's going to be 20 by 20 on the width and the depth. The backrest is 26 inches high with the headrest, 19 inches high without the headrest. You can adjust that headrest to go up as high as 30 inches. Now you do have a lot of other seat options. You can actually get an 18 inch wide, a 20 inch wide, a 22 inch wide, or even a 24 inch wide seat. So you've got a lot of room to work with there if you go with the 24 inch wide seat. And again, the weight capacity is 450 pounds. So this is going to be considered the, the most heavy duty option that is offered by Golden Technologies. It's got a standard foot uh, flip up foot plate. The seat is height adjustable. You can adjust the seat height just a little bit. And you can also get the seat to kind of either tilt forward or tilt back slightly because of the system that's underneath the seat, but you would need a technician to do that. It does have a semi recline, just like the Compass Sport. All in all, it's very similar to the Compass Sport, but again, this is going to be the heavy-duty version. It can travel up to 12 miles on a full charge, and it has a top speed of 4 miles per hour. The ground clearance is 3.5 inches, and the turning radius, surprisingly enough, is 20 inches, which is extremely compact. To be honest, that's almost unbelievable. They got the biggest power wheelchair here, and it has one of the most impressive turning radius specifications. And the reason for that is because it's a center wheel drive, which means it's gonna turn on its own axis. All right, so a couple of other things. We didn't mention the dimensions. The overall length on the Compass HD is 40 inches. The overall width is 25 inches. Now, I do wanna also mention that this unit has a swing away joystick on it, which is a great demonstration here. This is an option that you can get. Doesn't come standard. Now you can get the swing away feature on basically all their power wheelchairs. It is an upgrade option though. You're basically going to have to get the swing away bracket and have your technician install it if you get it after ordering it or if you order it with that option it will show up with the swing away joystick. Now the swing away joystick just basically does what the name says it should do. It'll swing out of the way so that you save some depth here when you're pulling up to a table and you know enjoying a meal at a table without having to have that joystick take up a lot of space in front of you. The seat does not rotate on this model because it's just a really big seat with an H frame. So if you look right here, you could see there's a little pin. You could pull this pin out on all four of the, the poles here that hold the seat up and adjust the height by using one of the holes here. There's a couple different holes, so that's how you would adjust the height of the seat. Now, if you look right here, these are the brake levers. So if you want to turn the automatic brakes off, you want to rotate that out to where it's pointing outwards. And when they're facing forward, it's in the locked in position. And if you want to push the power chair manually, you'd have to do that on both sides. There's a brake lever on the left and the right side. The Compass Sport also has the automatic uh, brake levers to disengage them, but they're just a little different looking, but pretty much in the same position with a yellow lever. This is a newer design that they just updated and the levers are there on the sides as well. So again, the Compass Sport and the Compass HD are very similar few differences and I hope that this video has done a good job at explaining what those differences are. Keep in mind you can go to our website, download the specifications, or you can call our non-commissioned sales experts to learn more about these amazing power wheelchairs by Golden Technologies. Do want to also mention that Golden Technologies has some of the best warranty options in the industry and as a dealer we're required to provide a one-year service agreement with the purchase of every golden power wheelchair. So you're buying into not only peace of mind, knowing that it's made by one of the most trusted manufacturers, but you also get that in-home service agreement for one year. 
All right, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. We went over all of the power wheelchairs offered by Golden Technologies. Again, if you wanna learn more, just visit our website, give us a call. We hope to earn your business. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day. Before you go, please don't forget to visit our website, mobilitydirect.com and click on the green button that says free catalog to claim your very own free catalog. Just fill out the short form and it should get to you in about a week or two max. I just want to take this time to personally thank each and every one of you for watching this video. We couldn't do it without our subscribers. So if you like our content, please go to YouTube, search for Mobility Direct and subscribe to our channel. You can enable notifications. That way you'll get notified whenever we release new videos. We're constantly making great videos. We have tons of playlists that range from repair videos, unboxing videos, research and development, and much, much more. If you like this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and ask any questions in the comments section below. We love hearing from our audience, whether it's feedback, comments, or suggestions for a new video topic. We love hearing from you. None of this could be done without our loyal audience. We hope to hear from you. Thanks for watching again. Have a great day.